Lamar Jackson secured the bag. Let's go. When sports are life and life is sports, I'm James Simmons, and I got five on it. Our boy, he got that money, and um, a lot of people didn't think he was going to get it, uh, but I, for one, uh, knew that he was going to get it one way or the other. Took a little bit longer than I know he would have liked, um, but at the end of the day, Lamar Jackson signed uh, a five-year deal with the Baltimore Ravens, $260 million, 185 of that is guaranteed, and he will be making an average of $52 mil a year, making him right now the highest paid player in the NFL. Good for you, Lamar. Um, just two things that I want to touch base on real quick. Don't want to beat this up ad nauseum. A lot of talk over the last, like I said, two years with this contract, this negotiation season, Ravens gave him the non-exclusive, uh, tag paying him about 32 million a year, which is well below, uh, the other tag that would have paid him a lot more money. So there was a lot of stuff up in the air about whether or not Baltimore really valued Lamar, uh, really cared about Lamar. Um, But I have to say one thing, John Harbaugh uh, from day one kept saying, we're going to get this done. Lamar is our guy. I love Lamar. Uh, And he felt he seemed really uh, authentic uh, with his love and his care for Lamar. Now, all of the business stuff. Didn't seem like it. All of the waiting, all of that, all of the stuff in the media didn't sound like uh, there was a mutual love uh, for Lamar and Lamar for the Ravens as he did request a trade, um, which is understandable. And these are the things that happen in negotiation. Um, But I want to say I'm glad he got his money. It's well-deserved. Let's put all the stuff aside about the injuries, his durability, and things of that nature. A lot of that stuff did not happen in uh, running situations that happened while he was in the pocket. Um, But people were just seeming to make up lots of reasons and excuses not to pay this man. So for him to get this deal, um, the numbers that they are, I'm really, really happy and pleased for him. Uh, We knew that the Deshaun Watson... Uh, contract was one of those things that was just out there. 230 guaranteed, 230 uh, million guaranteed. Teams were not going to be doing that again. So he was going to have to find something uh, in between that 230 and I think 189 uh, guaranteed uh, by Kyler Murray. Uh, he's got the 185, but he's got the 260 overall. And like I said, the highest paid player in the NFL at $52 million a year. These things change uh, like the tide. I know there's two other quarterbacks that are uh, looking for deals. We'll see what happens but, to them. Uh, the, the thing that I want to express, um, what makes me really happy and pleased about what happened for Lamar in this situation is this. He didn't fold. He didn't fold. He didn't waver. He did not... Uh, deter from uh, his belief in himself, his belief in himself that he could get this deal done. Um, And he did not fall to all of the professional people out there saying you need that agent. Now, I've never had to negotiate something of this magnitude. Uh, An agent may have helped speed this process up. Um, But we know at the end of the day, from what the owners say, This is a talent-driven league. He is one of the most talented, if not the most dynamic player in the NFL. There's no way someone's going to let him sit on the shelf and let that talent go to waste. Now, if Baltimore didn't do the right thing, I believe somebody eventually would have done something to get him where he needed to be so they can have him on his team. He's that dynamic of a player. So again, Lamar, thank you for sticking to your foundation, to your beliefs, and not hiring the agent and folding to what mainstream say you have to do. 
you've just negotiated one of the biggest contracts in NFL history by yourself. And that's what talent does. So let's not fool ourselves. Second thing, uh, he finally got him a, a number one receiver. Now, Odell Beckham Jr. signed a couple weeks ago. I think he got about 18 million, 15 million of that is guaranteed. The rest of that stuff can be made up in, uh, you know, incentives, bonuses, and things of that nature. It remains to be seen what uh, Odell Beckham can do uh, coming back from that injury that he sustained in the Super Bowl when he was with the Rams. But they feel confident that he will come back and that will not hamper his performance. So he's finally with a number one receiver. Um, that can stretch the field, that is dynamic in his trade on the outside, inside, wherever he may be, uh, and can make things happen. Uh, This is going to be fun to watch. It's going to be fun to see what Lamar, Odell Beckham Jr., and the rest of this squad is able to do on offense. Uh, It's going to be exciting. So today we have the draft. There's moving and shaking still going on but this was the biggest piece to drop in my opinion uh, especially for the Baltimore Ravens so would love to hear your thoughts on uh, Lamar finally getting that bag him sticking to his guns not hiring an agent and negotiating this deal uh, on his own Um, and what uh, is to come next season uh, with Lamar Odo Beckham Jr. on the team as his receiver and he finally having you know, that premier dynamic number one receiver uh, to go with his dynamic ability at the quarterback position. Drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel, like this video. Thank you for your support. And remember, fatherhood is a journey that you don't have to do alone. So don't, here at a dad's thing, we're here to partner with you on your journey as you partner with me on mine. Take care, God bless. We'll see you on the next take of I Got Five on It. Peace.